Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Deepak here. Today I will explain you about Python for loop. So whenever we are working with large number of data and we want to show up the result in iteration or inside the loop, then for loop plays a very important role for increment or decrement operator. So just like there are several other programming language contains for loop. Python is also having same type of concept but for declaration and using is different than other programming language. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with Python for loop. So in Python, we have three types of loop for while and do while. Like other programming language, for loops in Python are a little bit different as I said earlier in the sense that they work more like an iterator and less like a for keyboard. They can be used to iterate over the sequence of list, string, set, array, tuple, data frame, so as you can see here, this is a sequence of here, but in other programming language, when we when we are declaring the for loop, we are always declaring inside the function. So for in between the round brackets, we are declaring or declaring the value of the variable, then we are providing the condition and finally increment and decrement operator. But the sequence of declaration here for for loop in python is different than other programming language so here we are declaring with for variable name and then there is a sequence so we'll discuss in detail by using one example in further part and we will also cover function range then the python loop example using range function as well and for loop with else block. So let's see the coding part. So here today also I am going to use online IDE which will helps to print the value of for loop. So here I am providing here as a number num equal to inside the square bracket 2 4 6 8 12 14 16 and finally 20 now we have done variable to store the square of each number temporary so let's consider the value that is i am giving here as a pw equal to 0 and for val that is in numbers that is num then the pw equal to val into val and then print the value so print pw so let us run this code and see the result. So as you can see here, we have printed the square of each number which is present inside the list 4, 16, 36, 64, 144, 196, 256 and finally 400. So it will multiply 2 with 2, 4 with 4 that is 16 or we can see that its power of the value or square of the value 
so by this way we can print each number every time so it is iterating the value and we don't need to write the code again and again so we are writing the code once and we are calling the number or we are printing the value for each and every items so let's see how the functions will work so whenever we have iterated over list using loop however we can also use a range functions in for loop to iterate over numbers defined by range so range is always having n number of contains so it generates a set of whole numbers starting from 0 to n minus 1 so if i am providing range with 4 so it's equivalent to 0 1 2 and 3 means total four numbers are present it is always having start and stop so start will generate a set of whole number for starting and stopping minus 1 for example let's see range inside that 2 comma 8 then it will start from 2 then 3 4 5 6 and finally 7 so range is also able to represent the value just like start stop and step side so how we can declare the step side if we want to provide the random number or the alternate number just like i want to declare one and the end value that is top value 5 then it and comma the step size if i want to pick 2 so it will pick or it will skip one value after one so just like it will take one then it will skip two pick three and finally the three is the answer because we have provided five so by this way we can declare the function so let's uh, run that as well in between the range just like i am editing the code here uh shed yes num equal to 0 then for val in range so i am giving here as a range and in between the range i am providing here 2 comma 7 then if i want to sum of the two number sum then i want the actual number value then num plus val is my output so when i want to print here the num value then let's see the result so it will show off first it will print two because it's starting point then second value means three so next value will be two plus three that is five and third position for nine so we have got here five then starting with 5 plus 4 total 9 so by this way it will start incrementing the value so let's uh cover some more part and print the value so total number here it will sum up so when we are printing inside the for loop it will print sequence and adding with the next number but when we print outside the for loop it will print the total sum of all the numbers which we have provided so 2 plus 3 5 3 plus sorry 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 5 it means 13 and finally 
is 19. 14 plus 6 is 20. So by this way it will print the actual value. So let me show you how we can use it for loop in with else condition. So here I am giving for while in range. So giving her as the range 6 and print the value. Print the val that is value and next we are going to declare here as a else condition else then we will need to print here I will need here as a execution is completed Now let's run the command. So if you have not declared here, let's run. So as you can see here, it will start from 0, then it will print n minus uh, 6 minus 1 that is 5. And finally, it will show up and execution is completed statement. So by this way, we can also use else with for loop. So this is all about how we can use for loop inside Python coding. So let's recap this. We have started with for loop and their definition. So then we have look on one example with for loop. Then we had loop with range value and discussed about several components of the range how we can declare it, how we will provide the actual contain, then we are starting and ending point that is start and stop and with the step size as well. Then finally, we have created one program with that and at the end, we have discussed about for loop with else condition. So this is all about for loop in Python. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.